Welcome back to Three Scary Games, and the first game in today's episode is Slender's Playground, and I don't know why they didn't think it would be a good idea to put that title on the main menu, but let's, uh, let's read a little bit about the game. One night you wake up at 3am to find <coughs> Slenderman staring at you from outside your window. When you try to get a closer look, he disappears, you realise that you're not alone in this house and Slenderman is after you. You will survive the night by finding the six pages scattered throughout the house, each page containing clues to the truth about what's happening. But be careful not to make noise or attract Slenderman's attention or you'll be in danger. Can you uncover the truth and escape Slenderman's grasp before it's too late? We are in 2023, not 2012. The year is 2023. The Slenderman is interested in you and wants to play a game with you. Your objective is to collect all five papers. Five? I thought it was six. Unless this is this one of them. To tell the truth about him, but be careful, he will try to scare you and hunt you down in the house. It's alright, as long as you don't try to leave the house. You do have to face the consequences. Well, I'm curious what those consequences are now. Jeez, that was the least scary Slenderman I've ever seen. It's happening in Ing. No flashlight. What's this? Can't see anything. What did I just pick up? Hey, what the fuck? I have to find the breaker so I can turn the lights on. Press Q to drop. You think if you're gonna go through all this effort to make a game, you'd at least, like, capitalize the fucking sentences. Well, Slenderman can't knock. So, <laughs> you can't face the consequences going out because you can't get out. There's an invisible wall. Page, you can't even shine the flashlight to the floor. I sure fucking hope there's no. Bro, who designed this house? I sure hope none of the pages are anywhere other than directly in front of me because you can't move the flashlight up or down. A creature beyond mortal comprehension. Some say he is invincible with no new weaknesses or vulnerabilities. The only way to survive him is to avoid him at all costs. Okay. He's still in the exact same spot. Why would I be scared of him chasing me when he's not moving? So, press what to interact? Nothing's happening. Okay, that kind of actually got me that time. Bro, where is that coming from? The front door's fucking open, you don't need to knock. It's fucking bright, man. I have a fucking seizure. Vanishing act, he appears and disappears at will. 
leaving no trace of his victims behind. Some people, some believe he is able to manipulate rea uh, reality itself, burning the fabric of time and space to suit his needs. I should probably delete this game from this video because <laughs> this is not, this isn't very scary. With that knock, the second knock, that kind of got me a little bit. The collector, he takes trophies from his victims and mementos of a life he's snuffed out. Some say he's building a collection, piecing together a twisted puzzle that can only that only he can understand. Okay. Sounds a bit cringe, not gonna lie. I can't fucking see in the drawers, man. I not open that top one. Guess not. I've recently opened my restaurant, but it's been successful. Okay, and they say that this competition makes better hamburgers, therefore I decided to infiltrate the restaurant and I steal its secret recipe, okay. Is this plantain? It's called, but uh, welcome to the second game of Three Scary Games Episode 2, which is Ronald. I can't remember the full name of the game, but I do remember that the download file was just called Ronald McDonald's, so we'll go with that. Welcome to Ronald McDonald's, a uh, McDonald's horror game. I have three lives. Okie dokie. To interact with an object, press E and to drop them, press G. Okay. Objective. Get the secret recipe from from McDonald's. Um, McDonald's is the rivals. I thought we were McDonald's. I didn't see what that said about hideouts. Open 24 hours. Open 24 hours? I was going to say you don't live very open, but. And then I just saw that person. <clears throat> oh! Um. Okay. Well, there wasn't much instruction, but we'll we'll go with that, I suppose. My camera is much more damaged this time around. Bro's come out of the restaurant. What are you doing? I'm not, I'm not even in. I haven't even come in. Leave me alone. Does he not even chase you? He literally just walks. Damn, he's not even that scary. <laughs> fuck you. Locked out, pussy boy. Ah, oh, shit. Of course he has the keys to McDonald's, he's Ronald McDonald. Ay ay ay, I forgot to lock the door, I didn't lock the door. Um okay. Oh fuck off, Ronald. try and use him, can try and train him into a, a location so I can get a good thumbnail out of us. Fucking hell mate. Slow the fuck down would you? Okay. 
Okay, that should do. That should be okay. Now, uh, I can't get around that side of the car. That's not good. That is a strange place for, for leaves to grow. Straight out of concrete. <laughs> you can't get past the... Or a dickhead. Oh, shit. I can't get past him there either. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay, now he wants a boxing fight. Oh, that's not... Okay. He wasn't squaring up. He was pointing an AK at me. And now he has a grenade. Right. Honestly, I uh, don't care to find out what the other, th the other two endings are. The third and final game of this episode is called Unknown Phone. Story of a man who's on his... Nate late night light late night walk home and he finds a mysterious smartphone in the middle of the road let's see what happens next sunday february 29th 2023 you want to go home from a cafe and take a leisure leisurely walk at night all right i've been walking for a long time now i want to go home is that not what you were intending. Oh, okay, so he just likes going for late night walks, but now he's decided he wants to actually go home. I get you, I get you, I get you. Hey, Luke, what have I found there? Well, it didn't take too long to kick right off in the, with the story. A smartphone? Question mark. Don't take the phone. That seems like a cheap way of getting out of the game. I'm not going to take this phone. I'm sure the owner of this phone will take it again later. Exactly. We do not steal here on the David OFC channel. And that was the fastest game I've ever played. Okay, let's try that again. This time we will take the phone. I guess. I guess we do steal on this channel after all. I'm gonna walk a bit fucking quicker. Hey, look what have I found there? A smartphone. Are we gonna steal it? Absolutely. Hmm. I think I want to take this phone. I mean, it's an Android, so I'd probably just leave it on the floor, to be honest. Alright, now I want to go home. There isn't even like... He fully just wants to steal it. That's the only... the only thing he wants from it. Can I get quiet time for work, please? There's no problem with the f cell phone screen. Turns out there's a password. Oh, I just remembered. Tomorrow I have a school exam. This is a child? You're just going for fucking late night walks in the pitch black. That's probably not the best idea. This book taught me how difficult it is to understand women. LOL! Just kidding. Haha! <laughs> because I am a master of women. I know all the ins and outs, especially the ins, am I right, boys? <laughs> I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <coughs> so, what we're doing now? Before I sleep, I should turn off the lights in this room and in my bedroom. I better open my vision door first, there's a light that illuminated for a while. My parents are my life support. Grab your her body come. Alright. Don't give up, winners never stop trying. Cringe, this door leads to another room. Fucking hell. Which door is it? Not that one, I guess. Now we turn this light off, right? Alright, I'll turn my bedroom light off. How can bro expect to not be part of a haunted uh, horror game when he's got creepy ass fucking paintings like that on his wall? A two door wardrobe made special by my father. And like, this is the. 
scariest fucking room I've ever seen in my life. Can I turn this light back on? No, I cannot. Alright, I'll turn off my bedroom light. Bedroom light is off, I think I should close my bedroom door first. Good idea. Time to start dreaming. My guys watch one too many Andrew Tate videos. A few hours later. Who's calling at night? I can't fucking see. I don't know where the phone is from. I'm getting closer. Where's the fucking bedroom light? I actually can't see a fucking thing. The LEDs on the inside of my PC are glaring on the screen. Painting. So there's the bed. I can't... Open bedroom door, there we go. Can I turn the light back on? This one? No, okay. This phone. Ignore the phone call, answer the phone call. We'll answer it and just pretend that we were just waiting for the owner to call it and we'll give it you back, of course. Hello. <sighs> Hello, what's wrong? The breathing down the microphone thing is cliche as fuck. Can we just not? Maybe it's just the wrong number. I'll go to the bedroom and continue my dream. What? What is he dreaming about? I feel like... You should fucking let me be able to see a little bit. A quote that I made myself. Can I get quiet time for work, please? That is, that is a terrible quote. Can I close? That's cl yeah, alright, I'm fucking on it. Who's that? Someone knocking on? I would absolutely ignore it at this time of night. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Coinky dink. Coinky dinky dinky dinky. Skinamarinka dinky dink. Skinamarinky do. Maybe I should check the sound. No. Fuck that. Can I have a flashlight or something? Let me just turn the light back on. I, I, what is there to check out? I can't see anything. the phone. I think my sp my monitor's fucked because surely it can't be this meant to be this dark. We'll find these doors.
if you can actually see this properly, you must be getting so frustrated because I'm probably just walking into walls. That's the door that leads to another room. So if I hug, if I hug the wall, there was a door that didn't let me do anything, didn't say where it was. So I'm assuming that's the door I need to check out. I literally fucking can't see a thing. Ah, oh, found it. Check who's knocking on the door. I can't move. Who's knocking on the door? Nobody. As soon as you see no one's there, you close the fucking door. Guess it's just a coincidence. Oh, I can't fucking see. Okay. Oh, now I can turn it on. So I'm gonna be in the room. It's a strange time for me to want to turn my bedroom light on when it's still night time. Where the fuck is the light switch? This is so frustrating. Wait, so... The wardrobe set that door should be... The light switch should be... Light switch should be right here. Oh, I've done it. Oh, the light went in on. That's unfortunate. Oh god, no more. Oh! What the fuck is that? What's going on there? Is someone in the house? I can't see anything! Yeah, someone's definitely in the house. They're opening and showing my doors. Am I supposed to check it out because I can't see? I have to check what happened. Nah, I'd be staying locked in my bedroom door. What if it's just the owner coming back for his phone? A piece of notepaper. <clears throat> Sorry I entered your house without permission. I already knocked on the door, but there was no response. I traced my phone and I found it in this house. This phone is very important to me. Thank you for securing it. Are you taking the purse? It was the dude just wanted his phone back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's actually... Do you know what? That's actually kind of impressive. Like, creative. Nothing actually... There's no jump scares. Nothing... Sc like, the guy knocking on was just the guy wanting his phone. And he broke it because he needed it. That's literally it. Okay, well, round of applause for creativity, I guess. Goodbye. Okay, I decided I wanted to try and get the other two endings on the McDonald's game, or at least one of them. I don't think I gave this game enough time. So, is that person that I saw? Is that is that him? It is right. I need to try and get into the back. I'm assuming one of the endings is hide. I wonder <laughs> if I thought it meant like in the fucking plug. How do I get out? Can you make a burger? 
Oh shit. You coming in here? Yeah. I've got your burger, you bitch. I do think he came in here. He didn't. He's just staring at walls. You know, as, as you do. I don't know what. I'm, I don't know how. How I'm supposed to. Maybe I'm just looking too far into it. Maybe you're not supposed to make a burger. Do you want to fuck off, Ronnie? Thanks, Chief. Oh, I wish I could crouch. That would be fucking useful. He's definitely going to see me. No, he's not. Oh my god. Or a dumb bitch. This needs a key. Alter fort open. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Do I look like do I look stupid? Crowbar oh yeah, let's open that door, that is disgusting. Pretty sure he's in the room right now. Yep. Yeah, I was right. So does that mean like... Why does it... F I think when you die once he just knows where you are all the time. That's what it looks like anyway. Fuck off. You should be clown bitch. You're just mad because you got fucking... Taken over by a box with a face on it. Do I sat down with the crowbar? Oh, I fucking lost him. I'm not in here. Oh my god, I can see him through the crack. Ay, 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 ay. Fuck. <laughs> one more time. I don't know what I'm trying to do though. I mean, I, I know I need to get that crowbar. And then I need to use it on... the door that's through there. Fuck you. Give me the crowbar. Let's see if he comes through. Hey. Yeah, he was definitely there before because I can see the light through this little bit, you know. I couldn't before. Fuck off, Ronald. Get behind you in time. Nice. Oh! Fuck. I looked away for a second and then I looked back and he's there. Deaf clown bitch. Fuck. 
Oh. It's a miracle. It's a miracle! It was a miracle. Alright, close. Did he even come in? The fact that I can't see is making it a lot fucking harder. I wonder if this will work. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, have I got enough time? Bro, what the fuck? I fucking did it. Why wouldn't the last one come off? How the fuck am I supposed to play like that? I literally... What is it with these games not wanting me fucking see anything? I don't understand why the crowbar wouldn't take this bottom. I can't even see if the other one's fucking still on. I can't see anything. Nah, fuck this. <laughs> 